my name is uh, Nalar Firas. I'm from Jordan, but I uh, I come from I come with my uh, friends uh, from Kyunghee University from Korea. Uh, so today we are, uh, I'm, we are talking and uh, we are discussing a lot of issues that regarding education and higher education. Uh, but uh, we uh, what does what does it take to influence people to change? Like what does it take to make a better change in the educational system? Because no matter how much technology and uh, developmental uh, methods we achieve as researchers or as people that want to uh, develop or as person who want to make a living better, easier for everyone, uh, the biggest uh, challenge we face as people is that people tend to um, go back to the old ways. People uh, tend to reject change. So we need to notice that the resistance by realizing that people aren't changing or developing as we think that they really are. People prefer the old ways and keep using the old methods. So this is the challenge that we have and we're going to face in the next day as we promote change in the higher education. We cannot really blame the society for not changing and we have a lot of conferences, we have a lot of discussions all around the world just to influence change in education and to promote a better, uh, better student environment. But uh, we need to uncover the reasons of resistance. Why people don't want to change or why some won't even accept it and start with reasons in order to make a better change. As, uh, as my, uh, my friend said, Individual role and uh, the society role also helps in uh, developing the educational system. Uh, when we teach our kids in schools or homes that the whole purpose of studying is only to have a better paid job or a, bit, or a bigger house or a nice car or a social successful service, um, between his or home, uh, her own circle, um, this is not going to help them in the real world. This is not going to help them in building better relationships or better uh, to be more active as a human being. Just as it's important for them to, um, to learn how to take care of uh, others, it's also important for us to teach them how to take care of themselves, how to understand, um, how to understand that education is not just facts, like my, uh, like Sarah just said, education is only to uh, impact and also to affect the society. For example, um, in the US, um, there is a 365 gift challenge. It's also promoted in schools right now, which uh, helps the kids and um, the students in school to learn how to give better for society. And these are the examples for curriculum, curriculums and the systems that we also need more in higher, in higher education. So how can we uh, give a more effective learning for the future? Um, in my opinion, nothing has changed in the teaching system. We keep using the same methods. We keep referring to the older professors and to the older um, it is just because we are afraid to be wrong, just because we are afraid to make mistakes, because we are afraid to actually try. Um, I heard so, somewhere a great saying for Albert Einstein, uh, which I read that is a part for the art and the science um, uh, organization. Uh, he said that everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will uh, live its whole life believing it's stupid. This quote is so old, yet uh, we can still relate to it strongly in the standard education we offer to students these days. Educational academies around the world are forcing students to follow a certain path of their life, which is the main issue we lack development in the educational outcome. We bring fishes um, as I heard in this uh, speech, we bring fishes in a, to a tree and ask, ask it to climb. And if it doesn't, then we call it unsuccessful. 
So this, and we also call it stupid and um, unsuccessful in the society. So we need to uh, promote more creative uh, curriculums and more creative uh, systems in our educational um, academies. And in this way, we can create uh, better individuals in the society. Okay, thank you.